All right, welcome to Zeros to Heroes. We are have a special night tonight. We have two submissions back from two different grading companies, and we're gonna open them both. This first one is a PSA submission. This is uh, for Jansen. Jansen submitted a uh, <coughs> Pokemon card. <coughs> it is a Umbreon uh, VMAX alternate art. This is a big card. If it comes back a 10, we're talking four figures, $1,000 for this card. Um, <coughs> this is the first card that Jansen has submitted with us. Uh, <coughs> let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Alrighty. Good luck, Jansen. And this is a 2021 Umbreon VMAX Evolving Skies. <coughs> and this is a, it's a 10. It's a 10, congratulations, Jansen. Look at that. <coughs> this is a big, big boy. This is a thousand dollar card. Awesome job, Jansen. For your first one with us, that is crazy. Alrighty, so let's turn these lights on. All right, <clears throat> so next, <coughs> we have <coughs> a submission from Tag. <coughs> Tag grading, as uh, some of you guys know, or some of you guys might not know, is a new grading company that's come out. It is very transparent. So transparent means that <clears throat> it's uh, the slabs are a little bit different, but <clears throat> this company takes you through every step of the way. <clears throat> and the cards that come back, they give you a grading report, <clears throat> full on where it, <clears throat> where your mistakes are, where the flaws are, and tells you why. It is a thousand point grading scale. <clears throat> so you can take a look. <clears throat> take a look at this grading. This is what comes in. <clears throat> comes in a box like this. Comes with a tag sticker. Uh, some fluff. Comes with a band or wristband. Trust in transparency. I kind of like tag <clears throat> and the way it's put together. Come to this box which is great and it comes in <coughs> its own box separate <coughs> but this box is like a uh, plastic so it's kind of cool all right and then we sent five cards <coughs> and then it comes in each individually sealed so you don't know what <coughs> is what <coughs> So it's kind of cool. So you don't have to hide the reveal. It is a whatever it comes in. All right, so that's cool. So we sent five cards and these cards are uh, PC cards. Um, I wasn't sure about the value or the resale value. So I didn't want to send a, a resale card technically, but we did send five cards that I think we're going to keep. So let's go. <coughs> so about the first one, this is so cool how they put it together. Um, it is wrapped individually. <clears throat> like a pack of cards and this one is a this is a 10 Jordan Jordan Love 2020 Panini Prism Pink Pulsar it is a 10 a 961 out of a thousand so if you notice these cards come with a clear slab it's kind of hard to see, so let's see if I can put something up here so you guys can see it. Yeah, so it comes in and it's super transparent. <clears throat> you can see you through it, and the back is still. And this QR code here at the top, you can scan that QR code and it'll take you right to the grading report. But this is a 10. This is, of course, the future of the Green Bay Packers. So to get a 10, that is awesome. 
<clears throat> All right, next. <clears throat> oh, it's kind of hard to open. I don't want to cheat and look. But this is a... This is an Ichiro. This is a Steve Aoki Baseball Wave Party 2. This is out of uh, 99, I believe. And this is a 9. Not bad. 943. Uh, it is a... 2022 Tops X Steve Aoki <coughs> Blue Glitter Blast. But this is a PC card. Uh, Hall of Fame, definitely. So glad to have that. <coughs> Next one is a... Well, this is a Julio. Rose Gold, Top's Finest. Uh, Rose Gold, this is a replacement for my Acuna <coughs> 3 of 5 Red Refractor. Uh, but this is a PC, so you know what? It's a beautiful card, and it's, oh, it's a 9. So it's a, uh, let's see, let's do it like this, so I can see it. 932 out of a thousand it's a great looking card i like how the slab looks it's a great card it's like compared to the psa slab i'll do it after all right we got two cards left in this submission there is a jj watt i believe <coughs> Harry Ford. <clears throat> this is a Harry Ford. This is a Bowman Sterling uh, Wave Auto to 125. This is 6 of 125. And this is a... Ooh, it's a 10. It's a 10. <clears throat> this is an awesome card. This is the future of the Mariners. Great catcher. Um, <clears throat> they're thinking about moving him to uh, play a position because he is really so fast. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Nice. I like the transparency. <clears throat> All right, so this means this is the JJ Watt. JJ Watt Auto. This is his rookie auto. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to hide it. Let's see what the grade is. This is a. <clears throat> oh, it's a nine. 940 out of a thousand, but still yet great looking card. JJ Watt Silver Auto. This is crazy. This is numbered 57 out of 299. So each one of these packs, each one of these cards is sealed. Uh, let's see if we can open it. Let's see what it feels like. So it's like a hard plastic acrylic. Same thing. Um, let's compare it to the PSA slab. So they feel the same uh, <coughs> size wise. I guess you'd say that the tag one is a little bit shorter, but width wise, they're the same. Uh, feels like the tag one is a little bit heavier <clears throat> than the PSA ones, but you know what? It's still a great concept. I mean, tag takes the human element out of the grading process as everything is done computer. Uh, the computer analyzes the card and gives you a report about what, where, you're miss where the flaws are. But it's a great looking card. Great looking grading. I mean, I wish you could see a little bit better, but look, looking without having to look at it really close. Like if you look at it real close, you really can't see it. You have to have something behind it. But you know what? It's a really nice looking slab. <clears throat> this is a nine. So yeah, let's take a look. So we had, of course, the monster of the night is 
Jansen's Umbreon, which is a 10. <clears throat> the Ichiro Glitter Blast, 9. This is a nice looking card though. A Julio Rose Gold Mini Diamond Tots Finest Rookie. Nice looking card. That's a nine. The JJ Watt Rookie Auto Silver. Also a nine, nine forty. <laughs> but we did pull two tens. Harry Ford. Bowman Sterling Wave. This card's gonna go off. But I'm not sure if I can get rid of it. And of course, the Jordan Love. Such a beautiful card. We're going to win. We're going to win. All right, gang. Uh, like, share, subscribe, <coughs> comment. If you'd like to see if you uh, believe in tag or you don't believe in tag. Um, I personally like it. The junk part about it is they only have a certain number of submissions that they'll accept. Uh, so it's called drops. So you got to sign up for their notification and uh, you pay ahead of time. Where PSA, you pay after, <coughs> tag you pay before, and there's no upcharge. So say, for example, this card we paid, <coughs> or Johnson paid almost $100 to grade this card. But then all of these cards, all the tag cards, um, were $15 each. Doesn't matter if it's a thousand dollar card or <clears throat> a five dollar card. It's a great thing about tag. There is no upcharge, so I think tag might be the future. I know PSA has a great value, holds value, and it's very strong. Um, but I think the human element kind of gets me a little bit worried because we always have cards that come back. We're like, what? I don't understand where this, where this comes back a nine or where it comes back an eight or whatever it might be. So this takes a human element out of it. <clears throat> and I think this is the future. All right, awesome job tag. All right, shoots. Check you guys out. All right.